Hey, 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 it's Monday morning, everybody. Welcome to Motivated Entrepreneurs. Um, I've got a great, great um, podcast for you today. I hope to say that. It's a great podcast. And it's all about keeping our emotions. And so often we hate our emotions. We don't appreciate our emotions. But guess what? Our emotions keep us safe. And now we can actually scientifically prove that. So there was a study done of a bunch of chimpanzees where they move the amygdala and then they release them back to the wild. Guess what happened to them? Within 48 hours, every single one of those chimpanzees were dead. Oh, man, it's heartbreaking, isn't it? They was dead. The chimpanzees with the amygdala removed were dead. Your amygdala are essentially, it's your ability to feel certain emotions and perceive them in other people. This includes fear and the, and the many changes that it causes in the body. So basically, the message here is your emotions keep you safe. If we didn't have the amygdala in our brain, the, the part of our brain that controls our emotions, guess what? We wouldn't last two minutes. So when, you're, when you think and feel something, when your emotions are telling you something, you need to bloody listen because your amygdala keeps you safe. And when I was looking into this, it was, it was a crazy study. I mean, fancy, you know, taking, taking the amygdala out of these chimpanzees, but that means they didn't, they, they, they was not fearful. So if a head rustling in the bushes, normally the scatter because the fearful of what it is, the potential risk. But now with that removed, there was no fear there. They had no fear. I mean, can you imagine going for life with no fear? It must be bloody great. But fear keeps us safe. It stops us doing dumb ass shit. And I don't, we don't know what happens to those chimpanzees and how they died, but within 48 hours, every single one of them has gone. So it's very, very simple, this message. The emotions that you are feeling, they are keeping you alive. They are keeping you safe. Listen to your emotions. Listen to your internal organs. Listen to how you think. Listen to how you feel. Because I, I, I'm, I'm a warrior, and so I've got to be careful not listening too much. Because if I listen too much, then I, I wouldn't do anything. Bloody hell, I'm scared of going on a plane. I think that every single time, I, I think I can, I can see a reason why something's happened on the plane or on the lead up to the plane journey. And thinking, oh, this is like um, final destination. This is a, this is a message to me to tell me to do, don't go on the plane because it's going to crash, it's going to explode, it's going to something bad's going to happen. And I started having these crazy thoughts. I was looking at some self storages the other day and on the, it was terrible. It was terrible weather on the motorway. And I was thinking, oh God, I, I, I convinced myself that I was in danger because of the, of the risk of the, of how the motorway was driving. And I couldn't, you couldn't hardly see. And I was like, oh my God. And so I've got to be careful not to, not to go the other way and listen to it too much. But your emotions keep you safe. So we've all got to remember that our emotions are keeping us in check. And there's, there's, there's good and bad emotions, but ultimately they're there for us. That's how we survive. That's how animals survive. So we've got to make sure that we listen to our emotions. Apart from me, I've got to make sure that I don't listen too much to my emotions because otherwise I will not get out of the house. But ultimately, for the majority of you listening to this, you're not like me. So emotions keep you safe. Um, uh, tomorrow we're talking about something that Dawn Stacy said, and this is wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Okay, my friends, I hope you have an amazing Christmas period, and I will speak to you tomorrow. See you soon. Bye-bye.